LAPES, L-A-P-E-S, an acronym that stands for Low Altitude Parachute Extraction System. This first ever successful civilian LAPES was accomplished for British Petroleum's television commercial task force by Multitrade International Incorporated. Multitrade, an aviation consulting and support business to customers worldwide was hired by Aviation Location Services to bring together the people, aircraft, and equipment needed to perform this highly technical, potentially hazardous task. There would be no room for mistakes or second thoughts, so Multitrade's CEO and President, Glenn Conrad, specially selected a flight and ground crew comprised of ex-military people with extensive experience in LAPES operations. LAPES was developed by the U.S. military to allow precise, pinpoint delivery of cargo to locations where the transport aircraft could not safely land. This aerial delivery system reached its peak of use during the Vietnam War. Even today, U.S. Air Force crews regularly practice late deliveries. This type of flying, however, is not without risk, as is evident in this footage of a mishap during a late run. The multi-trades Glenn Conrad was fully aware that the key to a safe, successful LAPES delivery is meticulous planning, thorough briefings, and expert crew knowledge and discipline. These are the things that our team organized to support the making of the following British Petroleum commercial. service stations to make them every bit as advanced as the products we sell. We're building a better VP, more efficient, more inviting, and a little nicer to look at. We think you'll appreciate the changes. Sooner or later, VP on the move. That's the finished product, an effective, exciting 60-second commercial produced for a satisfied client. But what did it take to accomplish the aerial and especially this first ever successful civilian lates shown so briefly in that production? A lot of hard work, coordination, teamwork, and professionalism. The aerial support for this project was put together in just over one month following a June 5th phone call from Larry Powell to Glenn Conrad, CEO and President of Multitrade International. John Hansen and Training Systems International were brought on board to provide the parachutes, pallets, and riggers that would be required for the lakes. In addition, just about the entire multi-trade organization would eventually be called upon and then galvanized to accomplish this mission. These specialists included, but were not limited to, experts such as sequence directors, pilots, aircraft loaders, dispatchers, transportation, ground, and airborne coordinators, and even the best darn flight engineer in the business. The last part of June and first part of July was spent in all the many coordinations necessary to have the required permits and approvals and everything in place ready to support shooting at Wendover, Utah on July 13th. These coordinations additionally involved agencies such as the Federal Aviation Administration, the Bureau of Land Management, the United States Air Force, the Utah Parks and Recreation Division, and the Wendover Airport Authority. The final inspection of the aircraft for its readiness to support was conducted on July 11th, and the next day, the crew and aircraft departed for Utah. The rest of this program was edited from consumer video camera sources and will show our behind-the-scenes efforts for the aerial sequences during the four days of filming. Yep. Uh, Roger, uh, give us one more buzz down the, uh, the speedway here, and then you can go over and land. Come okay. up and land. Okay. Okay. It was July 12th, and the team members from Aviation Location Services were waiting at the shoot site in the Great Salt Lake Desert for the Herc's arrival.
This spectacular flyby was one of two site survey passes to familiarize the crew of the Hercules with the site and to get a feel for the depth perception problems inherent in flying over the large, white, flat expanse of desert. Uh, Roger, this is Larry. You read now? Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I can. Roger, now. We're going to do a high-speed run down that same area. We can get some depth perception uh, business done here. Fine, fine. Uh, we'll put her on stall for you. Following these passes, the Herc and crew landed at Wendover Airfield and readied themselves for tomorrow, day one, 